Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to take a look at Rapid Strike Urshifu Inteleon VMAX. Uh, obviously a really interesting deck. I, I have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'm not very good with it, which you may see in these videos, but are in this video, but obviously it, it's uh, the kind of deck that you look at and it almost seems like it shouldn't really be something that good, but it's been proven pretty well. Uh, obviously, Cyrus Davis winning NAIC with it, and Alex Kamiaski placing 11th at the World Tournament with something uh, with the same deck. This is very similar to Alex's list. Uh, I've just changed a couple cards from that. One thing I changed was um, Giacomo, I think is what it is, the supporter that um, discards special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, now that Obsidian Flames is out, at least from what I've seen on live and online tournaments, Lugia and Mew have gone down quite a bit in popularity, so I don't feel like that sort of um, discarding effect is not necessarily that helpful. So I did replace Gakoma for a Lost Vacuum, and the idea behind that is just that Path is really common now. Um, and obviously you have Octillery that can just search for Tower of Waters, but I wanted another way to search for a Path Bump through Irida to get Lost Vacuum as an item card. I am very partial in this meta with all this Path to including Lost Vacuum in lists that run Irida just to be able to bump Path. But the other change I made was, and it's probably stupid, but it just it felt better to me, um, was I cut down one four Seal Stone for a Battle VIP. There's normally three in these decks, and I do get that. It's usually because you lay it down and, uh, and you just wait to have to use it because this deck can brick really badly. And so that four Seal Stone is kind of a safety net in that sense. But I just find that I also really struggle to set up with this deck. And it's not necessarily that I need three Inteleon V out turn one, but uh, I found that I really wasn't seeing Battle VIP quite as much as I wanted, so I decided to bump that count. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into some matches. But before we do, I'd just like to say, if you're not familiar with what Turnkey TCG is, it's a series of channels that I run here on YouTube about the Pokemon trading card game. There are four channels, the main channel, the Dex channel, which you're currently on, a PAX channel, and a live streaming slash VODs channel. So if you're interested in any of those, there are links down in the description below. Subscribe to what you want. Don't subscribe to what you don't want, because like, why do you want to have something in your feed that you're not interested in? That's why I split it up, so that you can see deck lists if you want, but not necessarily pack openings. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into a match. Okay, so very complicated stuff here. A very bad hand, a very bad start. Uh, obviously, Radiant Alakazam is not a rapid strike poke, so Tower of Waters is not going to help me get it out of the active. Um, and going second against Charizard, I don't think is good for us, because that makes it easier for my opponent to evolve some of these low HP, more easy to yoga loop Pokemon before I get a chance to actually yoga loop them and try to take some lead. But I do like seeing Charizard. If we can just get things moving, uh, I think we might actually have something. We're going to see a Mysterious Tail. Gets a Battle VIP. So I assume we're going to see another Charmander and maybe a Manaphy. Um, I guess you'd have to expect there's some amount of bench attacking when your opponent has a Radiant Alakazam lead. That would probably be the most prudent thing. Um, but no, just two Charmander. Okay. So, yeah, we may have an opportunity to get a Yoga Loop play here. <laughs> my opponent would, uh... oh my gosh, and the Escape Rope top deck. My goodness. Let's go ahead and let's Irida here for an Inteleon and a Battle VIP pass. And before we do anything else, um, I'm going to put the Inteleon down at Escape Rope. And let's just see what my opponent puts up here because I can go with a Surf here. Ooh, okay. Arceus might have been the best play. This could be a, a two-prize knockout from my opponent, but I'll go ahead and go for this Surf play nonetheless. Let's grab another Inteleon and uh, an Urshifu, I think. No. Yes. Yeah, let's do that, and then we can grab a Remoraid with Artisan for one of the two Octillery in deck. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to get out of this hand nor could we really have gotten one with Irida, I don't think, unless we'd just gone all in for Rimmerade. Um, there we go. We'll grab the Artisan. Um, no reason to bump with Tower of Waters, unless we wanted to just potentially keep Inteleon alive. This damage doesn't do anything for us. Why not? Let's try to get Urshifu to soak some of this up. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, no, 
<laughs> a little misplay there. Not happy about that, but um, now my opponent did navigate that well. And hey, when you when you when you make your misplays, if you can identify them, that's a that's a win. <laughs> that's oh my gosh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> that's the greatest Iono I've ever seen. That is a really good Iono. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we have Melanie, Rapid Strike Energy, Ultra Ball. We can potentially swing with the Urshifu and use a Double Gunner from the Inteleon this next turn. That is huge. This is this this could really turn into something. This is exciting, okay. Holy cow, I'm having fun with this game all of a sudden. There's the V-Star. Uh, okay, probably going to be able to see a Starbirth to get Pidgeot in play, to get Charizard in play. Um, I do understand that my opponent could get a choice belt to one-shot Urshifu, which uh, would be frustrating. But at the very least, um, we'd still have Inteleon. We'd still have Inteleon around. Maybe we could get a Metacham Yoga Loop going to try and make up for how this may be an awkward situation for us. But let's see. Let's see. Um, we do see Rare Candy for the Pidgeot. Okay. And uh, I'd imagine Quick Search is going to help get that Charizard out, but I'm assuming this is for Charizard piece. So my opponent may not have the Choice Belt. Let's see. Here's a Candy Zard. Going to go ahead and accelerate the three Fire Energy into play. I'm assuming two to the active, one to the bench. But let's see. There it is. Yep. Do you have Choice Belt? One of those last two cards in your deck. You don't. Fantastic. Okay, we're still cooking. We're fine. We're totally fine here. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to slap down the Inteleon. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this Ultra Ball, discarding these two, and we're going to get a Octillery, because Octillery can get us Urshifu VMAX. So that's what we'll do there. Now... Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and double gunner. And I just want to damage you two. I think that's fine. Um, Melanie is not to the bench. Thank goodness. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> um, so we'll get it to the active. Nothing really good off those draws. So let's go ahead and rapid strike search. We will get ourselves the VMAX. Or we could yoga loop first. We, we should Yoga Loop first, actually. Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Absolutely. Um, I am fine with that. Let's go ahead and pay the retreat for free. Uh, put the Rapid Strike Energy down. We're ready to Yoga Loop after we just move this damage. I think I want to get rid of the Charmander. Um, I know Mew could be annoying if my opponent manages to uh, or ends up needing it. But uh, it's kind of an odd choice between the Charmander and the Mew. But, um, okay, so we see another VMAX. And we do have Iono here. So let's go ahead and see a fresh hand. I'm okay with Ionoing my opponent there, especially since I'm getting two turns. But not really anything good off of it. Um, a little bit disappointing to see, but we still have... A lot we can do here. Uh, we need to keep in mind, though, before we try to hit Charizard with Urshifu VMAX, which we don't have. We don't have Urshifu VMAX. Okay, bail. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have Urshifu VMAX. But we can go for 100 Furious Blows, and I think that's probably our best bet here. Um, at the very least, yeah, I, that might be better, even. Um, because then my opponent does not have the ability to simply uh, take a three prize knockout in response. And so effectively we've taken a three prize turn to my opponent's upcoming two prize turn. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um, but there we go, two prizes. Four seal stun and energy search. Love to see that. Hopefully we don't get Ionoed. Um, what could my opponent's response look like here? They probably want a Candy Zard, and they can accelerate enough energy in play to have two Charizards ready with full energy. So to get around that, I think our play from here on out 
is Mew and Pidgeot ignore the Charizards. Um, I think that's probably the best option. But if we lose Urshifu, that closes off Urshifu VMAX. It makes things a little more difficult. At the very least, though, we're doing well in prizes. Um, one energy is going to be a knockout on that Mew because we have the painful spoons for it. We do see an Iono. That's a painful Iono. <laughs> Let's see. Off these three, still good sting. Yeah, st still good stuff. Uh, and obviously, Rapid Strike Search is still around, so we can get ourselves Corona, I believe. Corona, right? Pretty sure it's Corona. That's so... Anyway, <laughs> I just remember the old XY Corona that was uh, really good. I loved it. Ah, an interesting play, but that may be a mistake. Um, I don't know if I agree with that from my opponent, especially knowing that Yoga Loop is still something that can happen here. Um, let's go ahead and take advantage of this board state here. First things first, double gunner. Let's get you two hit. And I will lost vacuum. Let's get rid of Spiritum. And obviously that choice belt. Rapid strike search to get ourselves a good old Corona's focus. I knew it wasn't just Corona. I was like, they can't name a supporter the same thing as another supporter. Um, if we get the Urshifu down now, and, oh gosh. So we want to, what? I'm struggling to see the line here. I think we just, because VMAX could hit for 120 to two. Okay, yeah, I, th I think our best option here is to just go ahead and use this energy this way and uh, manually attach to the Urshifu. Um, now, I will go ahead and Painful Spoons this 20 damage to this Charizard just to get it closer. That's 250 now. Um, how do we reach 250? It's going to have to be two attacks, but maybe we can get there closer with a little damage manipulation. It doesn't look like we have too many resources for this upcoming turn here. Yeah, and that doesn't help us much either. So let's go ahead. Corona for two, probably. That's our best option. Um... I'm okay with paying the retreat. Probably won't end up yoga looping again. So let's go ahead. Corn is focused for two. Oh, wow. Nice. A water energy is a pretty good find from that. Um, we can go ahead and double gunner then. And uh, just like that. We'll pay the retreat. And we can gale thrust for 150. Which would put you 130 away. If... We got you to 190, then you're in range of Inteleon VMAX's GMAX Spiral. So let's go ahead and focus on getting a Charizard cooked. Let's get it cooked. Yeah, that's right. This is resistance here. So only 120. Um, yeah, awkward stuff. Weird math for sure. But let's see. Potentially we can come up with something, anything at all. That would be great. There's a boss. Do you want the Metacham? What do you want with that? Octillery? What do you want with the boss? You want the Metacham. Are you trying to strand? Or are you just going to take an easy two prizes? Okay. All right. Yeah. My opponent is swinging for 300, which is scary. Put up Inteleon. There's an Ultra Ball. Anything you could do to bail us out, we can get. A Luminion. What would you get us? Clara. Clara could win us the game... Yes, Clara wins us the game. Yes, Clara wins us the game. I think, I think so. Hold on. <laughs> that took a second to compute. All right, we'll get the Luminous Sign. We get the Clara, All right? Clara can get us two energy from the discard pile. So let's go ahead, get two energy from the discard pile. Okay, now 
Um, a double gunner will damage those two. Painful spoons. We get that damage fixed on Pidgeot. Now, if we pay the retreat and come up with a rapid flow, that should do a knockout on the Pidgeot. There we go. Okay, all right. <laughs> that took me a second, but we got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. We're playing against Tinkaton. Okay. Um, that's not something you see every day. What do we think about playing into Tinkaton? I think we need to avoid Urshifu then. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab Rimmeraid. No, not Raiding Greninja. Int no, not Limit Inteleon. <laughs> uh, and let's check our cards first. We're going to see both Iono are in deck. That's good. Uh, prize the Battle VIP. That doesn't matter. I think we prize the Tower of Waters and an Energy. Yeah, okay. All right, so some, some pretty standard prizing. Nothing much to say there. We have the full Remoraid line. I'm just going to double check. We have all of our Inteleon VMAX. Okay. And our Cheryl. Um, so, yeah. That's stuff that I'm looking at there. I think I'm going to hold off on the Ultra Ball. Use that next turn. Get ourselves a VMAX. And we could be swinging for a decent amount of damage then. Uh, I'd like to start getting that on the board. Let's see. Um, so, likely from my opponent here. Yeah, Avery. Okay. All right. Um... A nest ball, probably for another Tink a Tink? Tink a Tough? Tink a Tiny? Tink a Tink? Tink a Link? Ralts, okay. Uh, tink a Tink, that's what it is, okay. Ralts for the engine, yeah, the Curlia engine, which helps keep this deck with a large hand size. Um, we do want to make sure we iron it at the right time. There's a Cleffa, wow, okay. Not really doing anything at this point, though, right? I mean, you don't have, you're going to attach a DTE. I mean, at this point, you'd rather instant charge, yeah. Okay. Cleffa is a great, great, fantastic target for us. I love to see that hit the board. Plus the four seal stone means that uh, this may be a very, very painful game for my opponent. Um, I could, I could go for the artillery immediately, but I want to grab the Inteleon knowing that. I can double gunner first and start to clear out some of these resources from my hand. I can get a bigger Corona's focus. And we still have the four seal stone to rely on. So all of that's good, I'm happy with. Let's get a Corona for six. Okay, we've seen everything we need to see. We have the Tower of Waters, fantastic. We have uh, a Rapid Strike Search. We can get us a Metacham. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Kind of freaking out. The Rapid Strike Energy here going to be able to get us to a Yoga Loop. How do we want to do this? Do we want to just take it on the Cleffa and swing later? I think that's probably the best move. Let's do that. Yeah. We'll just uh, Yoga Loop the Cleffa and we can worry about double gunning later. Okay, so take the prize. Another Tower of Waters. Meh. Um, Okay, back to my turn. <laughs> this deck is so good. Uh, okay, double gunner. Hit them both. We can't yoga loop, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so looks like we're playing against Charizard, obviously. Uh, the Rimmerate starts a little bit disappointing, but we do have things to deal with it. I'm okay with what we have. I could Ultra Ball once. I don't know about Ultra Balling twice, though, because we need the Tower of Waters, and who knows what about the top deck we need, but see the attachment and an Arceus into a pass. Would it be possible at all for us to take a KO this turn? No, not unless we get the, um, I guess we could. We could if we get the, uh, the Rapid Strike energy. That's pretty cool. That would be, that would be a, a fire line of play right there. That would be a pretty Pretty tight line of play there. Uh, did not mean to grab Metacham. Just out of prediction of dealing with Arceus. I wonder why I would be thinking that. Um, I'm going to get the Urshifu. It's going to be a pretty solid early game response, I think. And actually, that's going to do it. We'll be able to get the, um, the big KO here on this Charmander. Setting my opponent pretty far back for turn one, actually. 
Uh, not having a Charmander in play off of that is huge. So use the Surf for 80. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's great. <laughs> so uh, definitely a pretty crazy deck. Uh, it plays like nothing else in the format right now. It's kind of refreshing to, to play a little bit. I'm certainly no pro at this deck. It's got some very complicated lines of play and I just haven't been able to put in the time to test and really learn them very well. But uh, I hope you guys managed to get something out of this video. I know I managed to get something out of recording it. I had quite a few matches where I made some pretty big blunders and they, they've been cut from the recording. So uh, don't take anything I say in this video as gospel or really any video, I guess. But uh, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. I've been John with Turnkey TCG. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and hit the YouTube buttons.